Best chocolate in Idaho Falls. Ooh. I would have to say Florence's. And yeah. if if you're non LDS, get yourself to Deseret Book. <laughs> and get theirs. They're amazing. I mean the one the little truffles that they make at Love at First Bite are pretty great too. Yes. I mean, it, it's hard to choose a favorite. And I saw, I've got this in my like way back burner. I saw something for Thor's chocolate. We have to get it at some point uh-huh. and they, they'll mail or deliver it. Okay. But uh, they certainly seem to, I'm going to say this in the nicest way possible, because if you don't believe in yourself, who will? They believe in themselves. Okay. They really sell it on their website. Like there's a whole... Five paragraphs of why they're really? the best. Okay. And so we're going to put them to that test. So get ready, Thor. Yeah, you know what? I'm down. If you see an order from a guy named Mike, it might be me. We might have to put it under my name now. And we all know how critical I can be. <laughs> One way or another, we're getting our hands on it. Don't even think of canceling. I got to try it. Whatever you've done, you got on my radar, Thor's. Mm-hmm. And we're going to find out. Yeah. Remember we talked earlier this year about uh-huh. the Battle of the Sled Hills, Ryder Park at the corner of Sunnyside and the Snake River. Mm-hmm. And there's one that's nosing its way forward right now. Idaho Falls Snow Park. Just mm-hmm. you go all the way down Lincoln, turn right on Bone Road, drive three minutes, and there's Idaho Falls Snow Park. At this point, Ryder Park is the clear winner. Right. Just in terms of volume of snow. Right. Yeah. For something called Snow Park, there's not much there. What? Okay. They've made a lot. They're uh-huh. going to make more. They're open. Both parks are open. And boy, the minute it does snow, the minute we do get a snowstorm, it looks so Ryder Park is the best right now when there is no snow. Look in the background mm-hmm. of this video. You'll see across the street. There, there's just no snow. Right. Uh, except for the snow they made. And they made a lot, an impressive uh-huh. amount with three or four snowmaking machines, right, whatever they have. Right. But they've got a river right there they can suck the water out of. Mm-hmm. Idaho Snow Park, I have no idea how they're doing it. Yeah, I, don't, I think they're kind of relying on Idaho to be Idaho. Right. Yeah. And it's not this year. It's not. Have they not heard of global warming yet? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but you know it's going to happen. Oh, yeah. You Absolutely. Kn- you know we're in By for January, 90 days of, are you kidding me? By January, it will be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, which, by the way, this is our last episode. Of the year, I know. Of 2023. It's crazy, huh? Yeah. So Yeah. Our next episode is going to hit you on New Year's Day. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So anyway, in case we haven't made it very clear, this is Ryder Park at Sunnyside in the Snake River. Here's some video. People sledding, having a good time. Mm-hmm. And this is the Idaho Falls Snow Park out on the Bone Road. Take Lincoln to get there and then turn right on Bone. That's going to be better than Ryder Park when it snows. But right, right now, Ryder Park is better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, since we did just mention that this is happening on Christmas, should we? Let's save Let's save the Christmas presents for the very end. Do okay. you want to? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. Santa has visited the IFAF studios. Mm-hmm. And um, we have a couple of presents here. You've got one for me over there. I've got one for you over here. Uh We're going to find out what Santa brought us. (laughs) That's exciting. I can hardly wait. Please, Christmas, don't be late. (laughs) 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 Okay. That's dark. (laughs) But but other than sledding, what do you do during that empty week between Christmas and New Year's? I think um, one great idea I heard in the past was you... You start a puzzle on the coffee table, mm-hmm. right? And then when people walk by, yeah. it's a really great put your phones down activity. Yeah, I agree. You know, people walk by, they start to get engaged, make conversation, okay. whether it's 15 minutes or an hour and a half. Right. You know, we're all working toward a common goal. I love that. It is nice. Yeah. I agree. Now, my family every year does a Christmas competition and... Uh, We've done a couple so far. Uh, Some of the more memorable ones was one time we did a stocking decoration competition. I did mine like the leg lamp from A Christmas Story and didn't win. Oh, Bunch what? of crap, just saying. Yeah. Uh, we also did you a- You were robbed. <laughs> I was, dude. <laughs> we also did a gingerbread house competition. My mom and I worked as a team for that one, and we made a gingerbread castle that I swear was like two feet tall, maybe like a foot and a half wide- I made a Rice Krispie Dragon and covered it in fondant. We had little gingerbread men being tortured in the dungeon. Pretty sure we had a princess somewhere. Like, we went ham on this thing and didn't win. Okay. 
Isn't there that one aunt who always wins? No, it was my granny. Oh. It's always granny. Oh. Probably because everyone loves her the most, which I get because she's the best. Well, and she might have the most time and life experience. Okay, but here's the thing. Her gingerbread house that year was a pre-assembled set from a box, okay, that she just decorated to look like a beach shack. Which is a cute idea, and also ours was much more impressive. Ours should have been on, like, TLC or something, <laughs> you know, like Cake Boss. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this year it's going to be a nativity scene creating slash decorating competition. I would like to do it, and if I don't, I don't. And you know what? If I don't have time to do it for the contest, maybe I'll just do it for funsies. 